Welcome to George Street in Sydney CBD. As you can see, it's a busy place. So there's an important topic that I, I would like to talk about that I think a lot of guys are, they're hurting their lives by not taking this seriously. And, and that is the importance of, sure, go do some coaching, learn some game, and then it's time to, you, you go out there and you'll do a lot of approaches, you will learn game, you'll do say an immersion or do a boot camp with myself, do a travel immersion. I've got a travel immersion coming up soon. Uh, DM me if you're interested in doing that. You go hard for a short period of time, and I'd say that short period of time wouldn't be more than, say, six months. That means even after you've done the training, if you still want to find some wings, you can go in and find some more for wings in those groups. Um, get out there and put in a lot of time and effort and do that, sure. After about a period of about six months, it's time to go, okay, what am I doing with my life? Here's an example. So, I, after I had my first tip replacement, lost everything, I readjusted my life and I focused purely on money. I started working and studying seven days a week. Legit. I was doing two, day, two jobs a day almost, doing a full-time job and then working in a restaurant, even delivering pizza at night. I'll take anything because I was trying to build up my wealth and I don't know how many hours I was doing per week it was an ungodly amount of time that I was putting into that luckily I set myself up and I had I had girls that were living with me I still was speaking to girls here and there but there was a good six to twelve month period where I just focused on making money I went hard it was just my sole purpose was making money and that was because I had no money at that stage uh, I needed to pay the bills I needed to pay the rent so what I'm trying to say here is that after you learn a little bit of game you get in there you, you get the basics down pat just to say you, you do an immersion you do some coaching and you you've kind of you, you, you get the basic understanding of what this is about then you need to have a close look at every other aspect of your life and you need to tick all those boxes. Uh, let's just say you're, you're unfit, you're overweight. Then your sole purpose will be putting all of your effort into fixing that because that is the one thing that is hurting your life the most. For me, I identified money as the number one thing. The money, I needed money at that stage. So I just went sole focus on one thing and if you want to no matter how difficult the thing may seem to be if your sole purpose is to solve that one problem you will at least put a big dent into solving a large percentage of that problem if your sole purpose is that and that's what I did if you then learn some game and you realize okay my my mate value is a little bit underneath the threshold that is required boom diet gym exercise let's get that in shape and focus on that hardcore for six months this is something that i have noticed that <laughs> there's a guy that i see on george street all the time maybe he's around here somewhere he looks like mr uh uh, he looks like Mr. Burns from uh, The Simpsons. <laughs> he He's out here almost every day. And his fashion's off. You can clearly see the guy never spends any time in the gym. I would say he's right on the cusp of what the average mate value should be so that game would actually kind of you'd get some success. But instead of fixing the mate value aspect here, and just improving it a little bit, getting that extra 1-2% increase. Maybe hitting the gym, fixing up his fashion, uh, his grooming's way off. He looks awful most of the time. Improving it 5% maybe. And focusing on that hardcore. And reducing the amount of time that he spends out here. Then for each approach, the return will be greater in 6 months time. It's like that... 
It's like when people talk about delayed gratification. It's so important to exercise delayed gratification to improve your life. If you can't delay gratification, even for a short period of time, like let's just say six months, then you'll never really get ahead in life or get the results that you require, like Mr. Burns. <laughs> and um, it's far too common that you see guys that there's guys that I've seen, I remember I remember guys that, that are like 18 when they first got into game and they spend most of their time out doing approaches and, and they don't realize, they, they think that they buy into all of the lies about the media about saying that, you know, men in their, um, young men are, um, uh, are not as attractive as older men. They buy into these lies when in fact at 18, uh, uh, 18, 20, 21, 25, he's at his, he, he's, a, he's in a great position to get a lot of girls. And so he's getting a lot of girls at, at a younger age and not focusing on his career, not getting educated, uh, not building up that wealth. And this is a lesson for you guys out there, but it's also a warning that if you don't fix those things, you're never going to get the results that you require. If your career is, if you've learned a little bit of game, it's time to go and, and you, you don't have a career, you don't have an education, you're not making any money, you need to pick where you're going to go with that. You're going you're to have to take some time off the streets and put it into your career. Take some time off the streets and put it into studying. Take some time off the streets and put it into the gym. Put it into dieting and exercising correctly. Because the solution isn't just to increase the amount of approaches you do. That's not the solution. <laughs> and um, it's far too common that I see a lot of guys that get stuck in that. And um, the other aspect of this that I wanted to briefly touch on uh, before I end this video is if you're out here and you're meeting a lot of girls and you're dating a lot of girls it is so important that you focus on locking the girl in long term you meet a girl you have a you know go on a few dates and you sleep with her it's it seems so valuable to lock her in as a regular or a girlfriend and have some sort of a game plan in the back of your mind playing out some sort of an end goal because if you're, you're just out here like a lot of the guys, the degenerates and you don't improve other aspects of your life then time will get away from you and you'll never really get the results that you require you do need to fix other aspects of your life up and so hopefully that makes sense these are the things that I drill into guys that come for coaching with me. I drill it into them because it's it's not only it's not only the cold approach aspect which a lot of people get lost in. Where's your infields? It's like where's your infields of uh, uh, having good relationships, building rapport with people, going out on dates with girls and locking them in. There's lots of guys out there that have great infields. But you can tell they've never really locked in a long-term girlfriend. It's almost like they're psychopaths or something. And you don't want to end up like that. Where you're constantly looking for the next lead and you don't have anyone, any long-term girls around. It's quite common actually. So have a plan as well. Uh, and no matter what you put your time into, you used to say you put 100% of your time into making money like I did. I still had a little bit of time to make approaches. I, um, I had an afternoon off on a Sunday uh, because uh, I didn't have any, because I, I was starting up my landscaping business as well on a Sunday, so I had multiple things going on. I had a Sunday uh, lunch to afternoon off. And so what did I do? I went for a walk and I, um, I got myself a same day lay, it's called. I met a girl, day game approach, 
took her back to my home for, for dinner, I had an afternoon off. You know, these things you can do all the time. Um, and you don't need a lot of time to do it, you see? So, you can spend 100% of your time focusing on your career, making money, and you can still do three approaches a day. You can still take it easy, get three approaches in, and still tick the box of uh, not getting rusty with your cold approaches. So keep all of that in mind. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, and uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you click the subscribe button to stick around. I'm pumping out a lot of content like this. And uh, if you're interested in learning cold approach, you're struggling, or uh, you're not happy with your results, go to the website, check it out. I'll see you in the next one.